Reva 2023 award for technology development goes to Nirmal Kumar BTech in computer science and engineering class of 2012 Nirmal started his career as a scientist at the prestigious RCI lab of DRDO in Hyderabad for developing onboard computing systems for Indian missile systems. Since then, he has grown professionally and accumulated a decade of work experience by working in diverse domains as part of multinational companies including Samsung and Adobe. Currently, he is a senior software engineer with Atlassian where he is building AI ML capabilities within Atlassian products. it uh, it really feels great uh, to receive the rea award uh, i think this is one of the best thing that a uh, student uh, can offer back to us uh, like we have been busy uh, struggling in our life in our, our career to develop our professional life and this kind of recognition really help us to move forward and to work on more harder so that uh, we can contribute more this is really grateful uh, i'm really grateful for it jodhpur fraternity and the committee members who have selected my name for this award thank you for that uh, it's been almost around like 10 years i haven't been in touch with iit jodhpur uh, but the last time when i came in touch with iit jodhpur fraternity uh, during the dashak 1.0 like like last year and uh, uh, i was eagerly waiting to see uh, the new campus and to see the like how the how big the structure infrastructure that idj have jodhpur has built I have been seeing the pictures on like LinkedIn and some other social media platforms, and I was fascinated by the infrastructure that has been built by IIT Jodhpur. So I was uh, very much keen to see uh, this campus and trying to uh, connect with the students of the IIT Jodhpur so that I can contribute how my life has been, how my professional journey journey has been, and I can somehow motivate them to pursue uh, like similar career if they are interested. now it becomes my responsibility to give back to my uh, id jodhpur uh, fraternity and uh, to motivate student in any way i would say like uh, i would share the principle of three e's uh, like triple e so i would say like uh, uh, the first e is like experiment so uh, because we are in the macroeconomic condition where uh, there are so many layoffs happening the recession is uh, going on we don't know like what the future holds the ai ml uh, field is uh, like blowing up so what we have to do is uh, the first is like experiment uh, we have to do the experiment uh, with our own self try to uh, be ready for the challenges uh, like okay you are thinking that you can excel in that this particular one particular kind of field but you may not excel so you have to do multiple experiments and try to see which one is working well so in the same line the second e which is like evaluate so once you do the experiment then the evaluation is very important so you have to understand okay this kind of field is not working for you maybe you, uh, you can you uh, try to go for higher studies maybe you try to do some uh, some, some civil works uh, preparation like upsc examination or maybe do some mba so so that's that's how you have to be prepared and you have to evaluate and the third one is like enhance so in the same line once you evaluate yourself then you have to enhance your skills so let's say uh, uh, you were working on some like a traditional software uh, in the software domain you are you are working on some traditional softwares and now you want to move into like aml domain so you have to enhance your skills so that you can be with the current pace of the uh, software technology so i would say like uh, 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 as i am a software professional so i can advise only thing one thing like uh, uh, if you want to become a part of software journey then like try to follow this triple if uh, uh, 3 framework and then you can like uh, excel in any kind of field the reva 2023 award for managerial excellence goes to suraj nandipalli btech in electrical engineering class of 2012 mr suraj nandipalli holds a btech in electrical engineering and is from the class of 2012 After a brief stint as a business analyst in Hyderabad, he pursued an MBA in business analytics and marketing degree from the Public Ivy League Business School at William and Mary in 2016. Suraj joined KPMG, a multinational professional services network and one of the big four accounting organizations in 2017. For his outstanding performance at KPMG, Suraj was recognized with multiple Encore awards. Currently, he is the director of Alpha Advisors. an emerging technologies consulting firm in washington dc suraj is joining us virtually online uh, you know first of all thanks to the alumni association and viber gundre for nominating me 
I sincerely appreciate IID Jodhpur official committee and our director, sir, you know, Dr. Shantanu for presenting me this award. Unfortunately, I'm not there in person. I'm, I'm going to be there next December. I promise uh, to the faculty there. Excited to meet you all. Uh, but yeah, I mean, acceptance speech, I'm not going to go deep here. I'm not going to go you know, deep into my undergrad days living in IIT Kanpur, IIT Jodhpur. You know, we all know that how it worked out. Um, the struggle was definitely real back in the day in 2008. To, to, to 12, it was also fun to establish that, you know, own sports and cultural festivals, you know, all of that good stuff. And I'm glad, you know, apart from this all in professional career, I think we are all trying to grow in, in professionally. I'm always trying to, you know, give back to the Institute. Uh, I recently worked with these three major IIT organizations um, and Pan IIT USA, Capital IIT, Wheels Foundation, you know, to represent IIT Jodhpur and contribute to the success of, you know, Pan IIT Global Conference in Washington, DC. And I also I have a good news, guys. I mean, I, I recently found a spon sponsor who is willing to fund a few thousands of dollars to help us establish, you know, IIT Jodhpur North America 501c3 nonprofit foundation. I'll be actively working on that this year. Last year I had a newborn; she's nine months old now. But this year I'm going to get back, you know, focus to set it up, and hopefully we can start generating funds in coming years to, you know, contribute to institute growth. I'm always happy to help our institute, you know, students, alumni, and build that great reputation for us moving forward. And anyone can feel free to, you know, message me on LinkedIn. Or I will probably provide my cell number later on. Thank you once again, you know, Dr. Santanu sir and the entire committee, you know, for this incredible honor. Let's keep making IIT Jodhpur proud. The Reva 2023 Award for Managerial Excellence goes to Sarshan Joshi, B.Tech in Electrical Engineering, class of 2013. Mr. Darshan is a B.Tech Electrical Engineering graduate from the class of 2013 at IIT Jodhpur. After a brief stint as a developer in Cognizant Technology Solutions, Darshan pursued an MBA in Strategy and Marketing from the Indian School of Business, Hyderabad. Darshan Joshi then joined McKinsey & Co., the oldest and largest of the top three management and strategy consulting firms in the world as a junior associate in 2016. At McKinsey, Darshan serves software and IT services clients by helping them to improve their business performance across a variety of areas, including revenue growth, operational excellence, strategy, mergers and acquisition, etc. Since he joined McKinsey & Co., he has rapidly ascended the ranks and has recently been elected a partner, a recognition which only he has managed to secure among his peer group in a relatively shorter span of time. We take pride in conferring upon Mr. Darshan Joshi the recognition of excellence in young alumni award in the category of managerial excellence for his consistent efforts towards transforming businesses for enhanced performance, thus bringing honor and prestige to his fellow alumni and the alma mater. Darshan is also joining us online. Thanks. Thanks a lot, uh, Director Sir, Dr. Shankar. Uh, first of all, I'll uh, just start by expressing my gratitude to the Alumni Association, to my fellow alums for nominating me and to the Institute for conferring this honor. Uh, I, I'm thrilled uh, to get this award, right? I, uh, I was not uh, expecting this and my fellow batchmates sort of nominated me. So I think that that's a big honor. Uh, Dr. Shankar did introduce my career path briefly. Uh, what I wanted to focus on really was the early days, right, at IIT Jodhpur. And you might have heard from a few folks, including Suraj just mentioned it, Director Sir mentioned it in passing. Uh, but I would say one of the most significant learnings of my life came in the early days at IIT Jodhpur. And while I don't quite remember the deep technical topics anymore, I think what has really stuck with me and that has shaped my journey is sort of the attitude that I took away from uh, my experience there, right? And, and to add a little bit of color there, uh, as Director Sir had mentioned earlier, that we didn't have a permanent campus, right? And it was sort of very little in terms of strong infrastructure. I was part of the second batch uh, of IIT Jodhpur, and hence a lot of things which you would expect to be in place were not quite there, right? Be it culture, be it sort of a uh, an endowment of you know your festivals and endowment of facilities and so on but on the flip side what that did was it it gave us a huge opportunity to sort of build it ourselves right and basically gave us the ability to learn 
how to create a new culture, how to deal with uncertainty and how to adapt to dy dynamic situations, right? To give you a few examples, I was part of the music club, but being part of the music club then meant not only sort of, you know, performing or, or regularly practicing, but actually setting it up. So we got approval for budget from the institute. We went out, bought the instruments, we set up a little room in our hostel, and then we sort of started it, right? Similarly, I was the captain of the badminton team. Uh, what that went was we had to scout for badminton courts around Jodhpur to see where we could go and practice every day. We struck a deal with JNU at that point of time. We arranged for buses to come pick us up, drop us, right? So we had to go above and beyond in most cases to get what you know you would expect most students to get. But through that, I think what really helped us was that belief that we could achieve something. I was the uh, festival coordinator for the second edition of Ignis. Again, it was early days, so we were looking to scale it up and we pulled it off, right? So just that confidence that you can think of something, really visualize it, get the approval, get the support from the institute and actually implement it. And going through multiple rounds at, of that over the four years really sort of built the confidence and shaped my thinking, right? And as I then embarked on my future career, going to ISB, joining McKinsey, uh, shifting to the US where I'm currently, uh, by the way, in the same time zone as Suraj, I'm based out of New York, uh, and sort of dealing with all the things that come with moving internally plus rising in the ranks of, of uh, a large firm like McKinsey. I think that inherent belief and confidence that I gained through my time in IIT Jodhpur helped a lot. And I'm sure now with the strength that we have, our alumni network will become a potent force. Uh, I've already started reaching out a little bit to our alums for either referrals for some of the folks that I know or for, you know, testing out some ideas or hypotheses that I have. But I would say there is real potential here for all of us to sort of create an active network and I, I see great strides already being taken there, right? So I think that's one thing if you're thinking of, let's say, switching jobs or if you're thinking of moving geographies you will find an IITJ alum who's probably already done that or who can help you navigate that journey, right? So don't hesitate to reach out uh, to, especially to the senior batches like my batch or Suraj's batch. And I'm sure people will reciprocate, right? Given the tight knit community that, that IIT Jodhpur is. Uh, I, I'll probably leave you with that. Uh, I'll again sort of reiterate my appreciation for the award. Uh, thanks a lot, everyone, and hope you have a great day. In recognition of dedicated contributions to the society, the REWA 2023 Award for Social Contributions is awarded to Sanjay Kumar Rao, RS, who is a BTEC in Computer Science and Engineering of the class of 2013. Mr. Sanjay Kumar Rao holds a BTEC in Computer Science and Engineering from the class of 2013. He currently serves as a Deputy Commissioner, Audit for GST in Bikaner. Sanjay's commitment to bringing education, which catalyzed change in his life, to the underprivileged who need it most is commendable. On this note, he started a personal mission, Utprerak, to catalyze the development of smart classes in over 140 schools in Rajasthan's Junjunu district. It is with great pride that IIT Jodhpur confers upon Mr. Sanjay Kumar Rao the recognition of excellence in Young Alumni Award in the category of social contributions for his personal excellence, drive to solve societal problems, and for the magnitude of impact that he has created at the grassroots level in his leadership role. सिविल सर्विसेज के अंदर अभी जैसे जीएसटी डिपार्टमेंट हो तो वहां मुझे डेटा एनालिसिस करने में बड़ी हेल्प मिलती है क्योंकि मेरे स्टेप कंप्लीट साइंस थी दूसरा आईटी जोधपुर ने मुझे एक एक्सपोजर दिया जिससे कि कैरियर के अंदर एक एक्सपीरियंस आता है और वो विजुलाइज करने में मुझे बड़ा हेल्प मुझे बहुत अच्छा फील हो रहा है और इस अवार्ड से मुझे एक इंडिकेशन में मिल रहा है कि जब मैं जो कर रहा हूं तो मैं एक राइट पाथ पर हूं मैं आईटी जोधपुर के मेरे जितने भी दोस्त हैं या स्टूडेंट्स हैं उनको यही कहूंगा 
कि आप जितना एक्सपोजर हो सके आईटी जे के आईटी आई टी के अंदर आप उस एक्सपोजर को लो और एक्सपेरिमेंट करो अपनी लाइफ के साथ भी और अपने जितने भी थिंग्स हैं और उन्हीं से ही अपनी स्ट्रेंथ और वीकनेस को पहचानो और अपनी स्ट्रेंथ के बलबूते पर आप अपने करियर को आगे बढ़ाओ